morning everybody, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome to South Africa. Where in South Africa, I'm not 100% sure. We arrived yesterday, I flew up from Cape Town to Johannesburg, and then we had about a four hour ride. I think there's about 10 of us doing this weekend course of off-road enduro riding with BMW Motorrad. I'm super excited to get back on the bike today. I had a really great night's sleep in this beautiful log cabin. How cool is this? All my gears dried out. But we arrived in the dark last night and woke up to this. It's my noble steed, 1200 GS. You can see where I went down in the mud last night. Morning, Dingo. I didn't know you could tame wild dogs like this. <laughs> yeah, He's got man. jackal in him. Has he? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pet jackal, yeah? Pet jackal. How are you this morning, Joe? Are you right? I am fantastic. Did you sleep well? Like the dead. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I sleep really well in these log cabins. Yeah. Yeah. And it's nice and quiet. Yeah, exactly. As you can see, this is like a hand-built log cabin. BMW Motorrad Enduro Park. Country tracks in Amersfoort. It's Amersfoort. Learning every day. We've been learning about positioning on the bike and balance, and now we're learning about tires. If I need to turn a car, I just turn the wheels. If I need to turn a motorcycle, Go to the smaller radio. I need to lean it. Okay, I'll keep it upright and catch it. So if I lean it, it will, and it will bottom out without moving. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Point made. Everybody, this is Jan. <laughs> he's the he's the chief around here, and you're teaching us how to ride these things properly. That's right, hey. You normally talk a lot more in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. We're learning about the balance of the bike and now I'm going to balance the bike upright with just one hand. Is that right? Okay. okay. Let's hope I don't let this thing fall over. So I do two hands to start with. <laughs> yes, you can use two hands. Excellent, you were listening. You were listening properly. Excellent. And now look at me while you go for the lap. Excellent. <laughs> Probably the most interesting thing for me so far that I've learned is about how the tires work. And so when you're going around a bend um, and you're leaning the bike, you must put the, your weight on the outside peg. So you, you really get on the outside. And what that does, I don't know much about physics, but it basically increases the friction of the tires through more surface area. And we did all kinds of practical hands-on tests to prove that. And I'm really excited to like put it into practice now because I always thought you need to lean in and put the weight on the inside peg, but it's completely the wrong thing to do. Dingo. But like there's a scene sorry. Dingo. Word I think. You're a cutie, aren't you? Okay. So is half a jackal, yeah? Yes. Yeah, half jackal. <laughs> Get it, Dingo. Mike will fall down. So that's the first thing I do. Feel the engine and drop the bike, catch it with my hip. Just put it down. You just put it down. Okay. Well, I'll help you. Man down. Yes. <laughs> yes, bring your hips in. Straighten the handlebars. There you go. I like the other way better. <laughs> Americans now. The American, easy. yeah. Yeah. The American method is 
much easier. We have had a quick lunch and now everybody's getting their suits on and we're actually going to jump up onto the motorcycles and do some riding. We've done all the learning, now we need to put it into practice. Everybody, this is JP. How are you doing, man? Hello, how's it? Yeah, good. You got a camel back? Yes, I have a camel back, but I don't see it on myself. Well, I can't see it either. You're yeah. camouflaged, right? Is this your 800? Yes, this is mine. It's a beautiful machine. We have been learning a lot. Yes. Have you guys been learning a lot as well? I've been learning a lot. Which is good because these guys are far more experienced than me and if they're learning something too, then it's good never news. Learn enough, eh? Yeah, never stop learning, never stop learning. We've had a little break and now we're back at it and we've got these cones that we need to go in and out of. I did not see that coming. You get to a point where you keep in a neutral position and you're not moving your hips. That's when it okay. drags you down. Okay. So it's that over exaggeration of your movements, like really to the outside. I've had to take a quick break because I am slowly running out of energy and I'm just putting the bike down every five minutes at the moment. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate and it's quite, it's quite technical stuff. I was, um, it's what I was hoping for and what I was expecting but I did, did not expect to have to be drinking horrible blue drink to get me through. I should have bought more snacks really as long as it keeps me on the bike. All right, let's try again. And try 
only three of us ran. That is the end of day one. Day two apparently is a lot harder. <laughs> this is mostly mentally challenging, that's the thing. Um, to stay, like, I guess the endurance side of this is like, it's physical, but really the endurance is, is mental. Manage to keep your concentration on point. That's what enduro riding is, I think. But. I learned so much today. I feel so much more confident on this 1200 GS now. Bring on tomorrow. Oh, my word, I am so tired from today. I'm gonna go and get an early night. This is before 10 o'clock. This is unknown time of night for me to be going to bed. The internet is crazy slow here, so. Um, sorry if the uploads are a little bit wild. I'm learning so much. These guys are fantastic teachers. Um, Jan and Yolandi have been so good. Um, so we have another full day tomorrow of this. And then half a day on Sunday. And then I fly back um, to Cape Town. I will check you guys tomorrow. When things are going to apparently be stepping up a notch. So it should be entertaining for you guys. Um, but yeah, I managed to not get hurt, which is kind of the, the main goal right now. Just learn, but don't push the boundaries too far that I actually get injured. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking to you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, I love you guys. Good night. 50 more kilometers to go. That times 10. And then um, if it's raining on the farm, we might not be able to ride the last bit because it might be too muddy, um, but we'll see.